John Milner and I'm here to tell you a little about myself and something about some books I've written. At the age of 83 now I feel like I've had two careers over my lifetime. I taught high school English uh, for 31 years I guess it was in Kenmore, New York, my hometown. And then after I retired in 1990 I started to write. I started to write poems and essays and even some short stories. And I started to get them out, so I, I self-published them in what, seven books up to now. And uh, these books uh, were written right here in this room on the laptop, which is across the way here, uh, with the view out the window that you saw earlier. Uh, I've been in this house now for over 60 years. I've been uh, in this same town of Kenmore, New York for most of my 83 years now. And I guess that makes me something of a stick in the mud. But uh, as, I, as I wrote in one of the essays in one of my earlier books, I think there's some advantages to being a, a stick in the mud. I know most people these days do a lot of moving around. Uh, and. Uh, Maybe, maybe there are a lot of advantages to that too, given the kind of world we live in now. But I think there are also advantages to staying in the same place. And I think this room right here uh, kind of illustrates some of those. I've, I've written these books and I live within the same, uh, the same pictures. Some of these pictures were done by friends of mine. I bought them or... Uh, or uh, they gave them to me. There's one picture up here of a uh, sailboat, a uh, three oh, three-masted uh, schooner, and a storm out on this, what's probably the North Atlantic. That whenever I get lost, uh, or or stuck for something, or feel I'm I've lost, uh, I've lost my sense of reality, I look up at that picture, and it uh, it kind of returns me to something that's that's real uh, in, in the world, uh, imagining what it would be like to be on that boat out in the North Atlantic in a storm. But uh, I started to write these books uh, after I retired in 1990. And uh, the early ones 
uh, are mostly personal stuff. I wrote a, uh, a personal memoir of my teaching experiences. Uh, it's a book called uh, School Book, A Teacher's Memoir, that uh, uh, I, t I tell about the school and uh, my colleagues and some of my students. And uh, I didn't try to solve any problems. What I did in that book was uh, I tried to say some of the things that are good about education at a time when, uh, when most people were, were criticizing public education. I wrote, uh, after that, I wrote a, uh, a personal memoir, a book called Ram Shaka Book, told about my family and friends and, uh, and growing up in this town. Um, but more recently, I've, uh, I've started to write about some things that are bothering me about the, the bigger world around me. Um, I'm concerned uh, about how we seem to have lost a sense of direction in this country in recent years. I'm concerned about how, um, how we seem to be insulting each other every time we, we try to talk about something. I'm concerned about how... Uh, I'm, cons I'm concerned about how we seem to think we know everything about e everything. Uh, I think science and technology have given us that impression. And, I, and, I, and although I'm not a religious person, I'm concerned about the loss of religion uh, in, in our world, at least, you know, for a lot of people, uh, because I think we need something like that. I think in this kind of world, uh, a lot of people lack a center to hold them themselves together. And, and so th those are a lot of the things that I've been writing about uh, in, more, more recently. Uh, my last book started with an essay called The I-We Conundrum, I slash we conundrum. Uh, it's, uh, uh, it, it's about uh, how we need to, to turn our eyes uh, more into we's, I think, or be more concerned with, with our sense of community. So th those are those are the things that I, I, I write about. I, I I write about the seasons. I, I write about uh, my cottonwood tree out here. Uh, I wrote a poem about turning 80 years old a few years ago. Uh, but I've uh, I've self-published these books because I'm an amateur. I, I don't have an agent. I, I don't think uh, uh, established publishing companies uh, are, are interested in the, the kind of stuff I do, or at least combining poems and stories and essays all together at once. Uh, and I've never looked uh, to, to make money with these books. I did make money on, on the school book, but uh, most of these books, I, I've just done them because I, I have a need to say things uh, that are on my mind, and I, uh, I, I, I like to write. And because I, I've done it that way, and I haven't been very good at sales and promotion, my problem uh, has become I have, I have closets in this house that are full of cartons of unsold books. Uh, it's a, it gets to be kind of embarrassing. You open a closet door, and here are these, these unsold books looking back at me as if they were begging me to do something with them. So that's, what it, that's where I'm going here. Uh, the guy behind the camera today is a, a former student and a friend of mine who's been telling me for some time now, he thinks I can sell books out on the Internet. And he knows a lot more about the internet and social media and all that new stuff than, than I do, certainly, at my age. Uh, but uh, what I'm going to do, this is the first of, uh, of uh, one video, and I'm going to make uh, several more about each of the books and, you know, maybe do some readings of short selections from, from the books and uh, give you an idea of, of what, what each book is and how it's unique and, uh, and tell you how anybody who's interested how they can buy it. And, and we'll find out if, uh, if my friend behind the camera knows what he's talking about. Uh, 
So uh, that's it. That's it here for today. Thank you.